Hey my friend, this video is for you if you want to record your ambient guitar music through real amps like I do, but you fear that you cannot get great tones with real amps and microphones because you cannot play loudly because of your neighbors or if you are in a, an apartment or something like this. And this video is for you because I'm going to prove that you can still have a great tone even if you record quietly with your real amp. So this is my situation. I am in an apartment. I have a neighbor that's just below me here and I don't want to crank up my amps to 11 because that would be too loud and annoying and I don't want to get any complaints. So uh, it's general knowledge that if you want to, uh, to get a great tone, especially with tube amps. So for example, my two amps are uh, a Sir Badger 30 and my Vox AC15, which are tube amps. So it's general knowledge that if you want a great tone, you have to crank up your amps to make them work, to make the tubes work to get the best tone possible. And this is still very true, but it doesn't mean that quiet is just not good. Uh, if you like my ambient guitar songs on my channel, they are all done with very, very quiet volumes. So if we look at my settings on my amps uh, with a little close up, you see my Sir Badger 30 is a 30 watts amp, but I have my power knob, which is a power scaling knob. So I'm basically scaling almost the wattage of the amp uh, to make sure that it's gonna work harder uh, even at low volume. So that's a great thing if you have power scaling. Uh, but you see here my, the drive knob and the gain knob are only at 2 out of 10. So it's really really not a loud volume. And if you look on my Vox AC15, this is the same principle. I don't have power scaling here, but my uh, volume and my master volume are not even a quarter of the way through. It's basically at two out of 10. Two. So with both of my amps, I can play very, very quietly. And for example, if I were to take my guitar and uh, talk while I'm playing, I could talk to you and have a very normal conversation without raising my voice too much. And the microphone, which is just here that I'm playing, uh, talking to you with, is not even two feet away from the amp. So it's very, very close from the amps. But I can still play my guitar and talk to you and we could have a regular conversation uh, in the room very, very easily. So I'm sure that for my neighbors, that's not gonna be very, very loud. Uh, something to consider too is that where you place your amps in the room. So for me, I tried to put my amps in the middle of the wall as much as possible. When your amps are too much in a corner, that, that can build up some bass frequencies because this is where the bass frequencies develop, right? They, they get stuck in the corner and it's where it's the, this is why you need most of the time bass traps or things like these. But I have a regular bedroom sized uh, room and I don't have any sound treatment uh, apart from a, a rug that I put to cancel some of the echo in the room. But you see, I play quietly. Uh, I don't have any sound treatment in my room and I can, and I can still have some great quality recordings. So what's important is that you set up your amps not too loud and then if you want to record with your microphones, you just have to crank up the gain a little bit more on your audio interface uh, to compensate for your amps being a little bit quiet. So you just crank up the gain to have just enough signal coming from your microphone and being recorded into your software and you can get a very, very good tone. Like I said, if you like my ambient songs that I post on a weekly basis on my channel, these are all being made with very quiet volume on my amps. So if you want to know more about that, in my free course, A Beginner's Guide to Ambient Guitar, I have a whole section about 
uh, my clean tone and I take more time to show you the settings with the, the bass and treble on my amps and the volumes and what I set up on my pedal to get the clean tone that I have. So if this is something you would like to learn, you can click on the first link in the description box and enroll for free in my songwriting mini course for ambient guitar. This is my pleasure, this is my gift to you. So if you have any other question on this subject, you can use the comment section and I will do my best to answer. So thanks a lot for watching and until next time, au revoir.